Okay guys, this will be a test of the first uh, Dell Optiplex 745 ultra small form factor. This one has 1 GB of RAM and we'll be getting uh, 2 GB so this will come out and 1 GB 2 GB one board from here will be going in. This is a Pentium dual core one. You can see the caps starting started leaking probably due to the higher power draw of the CPU. So the if you saw the unboxing video uh, saw the unboxing video so I, I, I think I mispronounced it, mispronounced it. Um, there were two Pentium dual cores this and another one and both of them have uh, leaky capacitors and I have to replace those so for the moment I will use the, the memory at least from this one and make this uh, a little bit better and uh, future videos will be made with upgrading this, fixing the capacitors and stuff like that. So yeah, I will replace the RAM now. From the 10 of them I already that I unboxed yesterday, maybe you will see this video at a completely different time. But from the 10 of them that I got, uh, I already have to take to work tomorrow four of them. They were bought by colleagues of mine. So uh, yeah, I have to do four working PCs today. It would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't really like pushing on RAM with only one hand. But yeah, got got it done in the end. Let's put this in the PC parts <laughs> department. This is the power brick. It's not cleaned or everything. I will get this to my colleagues uncleaned. They will have to do <laughs> their own cleaning. And this one is also missing a panel. So I will take a panel from the nut. It's working, but I don't want to give this to anybody with capacitor problems. So until I fix it, I will consider it not working. So I will take a panel from this one. And actually I might even keep one or two of these. Maybe both of them, both of the Pentium ones. Not sure. I will just have a little bit of fun with them. So yeah, also my colleague doesn't need from this PC, doesn't need the DVD writer, it just wants a DVD-ROM, so I will replace this writer with the DVD-ROM from this one. So yeah, also that in a moment, when I figure out how to take this out, because in theory you should just push on this and then actually not only in theory, in real life too. It's not a standard connector, sadly. Or maybe... Yeah, it could be. It could be a laptop unit inside this case. I will take a look of, uh, at it because I actually have... One moment. I have a laptop DVD writer here that I'm not using, it's a SATA and uh, one of these units had just uh, CD-ROM in it, so CD-ROM, yeah, useless and uh, most likely I will put something better in it so yeah, we will see about that in a moment yeah, lucky me, this was the unit with the CD-ROM so <laughs> I'm not taking this out, I went and got uh, a DVD ROM and put it in place of the DVD writer because I need this DVD writer for another one of my colleagues. His PC had a DVD ROM, so I'm swapping these two actually. Now, let me just put it in place. I really love how easy it is to work on these PCs. So, it has 2 gigabytes of RAM, 160 gigabytes hard drive, DVD-ROM and the CPU is E6300 
uh, 1.86 GHz dual core. So, pretty decent. Now, let me just see how I can put this back in place. Okay, I'm ready to start the first one. Cut the panel in place. It just has three clips on this side and three on the other. Pretty simple. And I will put the XP Home. This has XP Home license on it. Let's see what it does. Most likely I should have pressed... Uh, yeah, fun continue. Memory changed. So it's booting from uh, USB stick. Mem test. But I wonder if this monitor has an auto. Yeah, kind of stupid auto. It's a little bit off, but you get the idea. Two gigabytes of RAM. Pretty decent. I'm having some cables here because my camera is almost out of battery. I film so much these days with all these boxes coming in that uh, I don't even have time to to fully charge it properly. So yeah. I will start uh, putting windows onto this one and uh, it's ready for shipping. While the first PC uh, finished installing Service Pack 3 and uh, probably will reboot, I have to change the RAM in another one. Sorry for this video, it's, it's made in a uh, real hurry, but I have to get this done as quick as I can. So this was a pretty small RAM. Only 512 megabytes, so we'll be putting in 2 gigabytes from here. If I could actually manage to insert it, it would be great. Okay, getting better at this. doing stuff it's moving really 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 nice this PC I really like it a little bit noisy the hard drive but yeah what can you do each of them has different manufacturer hard drives so maybe not all of them are so noisy okay so this has two gigabytes of RAM it's uh, fine in everything else we will just have to put windows onto this one and uh, Replace that one, change them so I can test it. But when I finish that one, while Avira is doing its update, this is still the first PC, this is the second one that I will do, and this is one that uh, I will not uh, do for tomorrow. But uh, the E6300 didn't have uh, built-in speakers and uh, yeah, one of my colleagues wants uh, built-in speakers so I'm taking one out from the E4300 so I just pulled on this little tab so that is released and I will take it out and hopefully pull the plug you most likely cannot see anything in here, but that's how it sometimes goes, and with these smaller PCs even more. So this is the speaker, pretty nice. I think it has its own amplifier, so that is really, really good. It's not on the motherboard, so if something happens to it, it doesn't take out... Uh, 
anything else or at least hopefully so yeah let's plug it in here it would have been better if I done this before installing the RAM but kinda late for that now position and it's really tight sorry guys I have to do some adjusting here because uh, I'm unable to do it and clearly you cannot see anything because I'm so concentrated on doing it right that I forgot I forget how to film so yeah sorry about the bad video quality but uh, that's uh, speaker in <laughs> so yeah hurry 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 and do the next one because Avira finished his job and this one is finished and perfectly working the first one well that one is installing Windows 7 because my a colleague wanted Windows 7 on his uh, we will be changing the optical drive in this one this came with uh, DVD-ROM but my colleague wanted uh, DVD writer I was nervous for a second that uh, this will fall over it didn't so yeah putting a DVD writer in And it is done. That simple. And this will go in another one somewhere. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Finished the second PC. This is the third one. Don't mind the numbers, they are something else. And uh, this is giving me two er uh, errors, uh, rear fan failure, that is rear fan failure and uh, low battery voltage. So I have to find out if rear fan means this one or the one under the hard drive and I have to change the battery so probably I will take the battery out of uh, this one that I also took the speaker for the moment. I have another other good batteries but I don't have time to search them now so I will do my best with what I have in hand so let us continue just power it on these are the errors and this is the poor little fan that uh, it's gunked up and almost not spinning so I'll, I will replace this and the battery in a moment from this one and of course this I will clean and use it in this one but I don't have time now to clean it sadly. The one that I was trying to get the fan from doesn't even have a fan so this is the Pentium dual core that I removed the RAM from and uh, now put the gunked, in, uh, gunked up uh, cooler in here and the good one is here and uh, this is why it had battery error because it has no battery so this will be a donor also for the battery good little Pentium come on doesn't have uh, anything work when you are in a hurry seems in decent shape I don't usually have uh, very good uh, camera skills but uh, in this video they are way way worse so I will op uh, sorry, apologize to you again guys for that 
and I will do my best not to do other videos in a hurry like this time. Okay, it's in. That one will be in in, mo in a moment. Okay, it's also in. Little bit of dirt in there. Uh, let me try to put this screw in on camera. Most likely, I will manage it. Hopefully, I don't really know its purpose because that cannot came come off by itself. But yeah, so. Why is this making so much noise? I really wonder the direction the fan should spin and if it will make a ton of noise and I have to search for another one. So, one second I stop the video so I plug this thing in. Got this thing completely backwards. The fan wasn't uh, the problem. Actually, this is rear fan. Yeah, pretty obvious now that I think about it and this is hard drive fan and now it's also failing so I have to put back the one that I said it's gunked up and replace the rear fan and uh, tell my friend that he has to clean this a little bit because I don't really have time to try and search through all the computers until I find, find one that is not gunked up so yeah, what can you do? Okay, in the end I replaced this, uh, this, the hard drive fan and the battery. Let's hope it's okay now. Come on. Say something. Did I forgot to plug something in? Yeah, of course. It jumped right to Windows install. The third one hit me hard. I had to change the rear fan, the hard drive fan, put on in a BIOS battery and reset the BIOS password. Yeah, we are installing Windows 7 also for uh, this colleague. So yeah, let's hope this goes fast because I have another PC to do and it's late. While the third one is rebooting itself and finishing uh, the setup and everything, I'm working on the fourth one. Fourth one? No, oh, yeah, really hard to pronounce that. I have to replace uh, this 512 gigabytes module. with uh, a bigger one and if I remember correctly eh, don't move this is a module of one gigabyte any day now camera any day incredible yeah this is one gigabyte so this will be going in of course after I uh, stop the video and clean it because I put my fingers on the contacts and that is a bad thing okay two gigabytes in closed up also had to replace actually this was the one that, that didn't have a hard drive fan so had to put a hard drive fan from another one and yeah, after that finishes, we'll be putting uh, XP on this one, Windows. And I'm done for the day because it's late, I'm extremely tired, uh, barely talking, but yeah. Really wanted to get this done today. So yeah, what can you do? 
just started installing Windows 6P Home Edition on the last of the four PCs that I have to get ready for tomorrow. Uh, I had to change the, or actually this didn't have, yeah, this didn't have a uh, hard drive cooler. I put the first one in. It was making a lot of noise, so I had to replace that and had to change the BIOS battery because it was bad. So now installing Windows, hope to finish soon and uh, yeah, that's about it for now. Guys, I have finally finished. The fourth PC is done, Avira just updated, did its scan and everything works perfectly. So yeah, it's almost one at night, but it is finished. The first, first four uh, PCs are okay, everything working perfectly. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this weird video, give it a like. Ask anything you want in the comments and see you in the next one. Bye.